PHP Storm is JetBrains' industry-leading PHP ID. Let's take a look at what it can do by writing a game where monsters can fight each other. We'll need to create a new entry point into the app. Let's create a class from the project pane with Command N. Notice how typing will filter the menu like it does in all PHP Storm menus. The namespace and directories have been detected for us. So we just need to name the class to make sure it's created in the right place. Now we can create a route to get to this action. Command E opens recent files. And again, we can start typing, even using camel case to filter the recent files. Code completion helps us to add the route quickly and correctly. Notice the parameter hints, which help remind us the order of parameters. We also get code completion on the class name and PHP Storm imports the class with the U statement. Next, we need to create a factory for this action. We can use Command, Shift and O to open files by name. Again, starting to type the name of the file we want. We need to add a new entry for the action we just created. Adding a parameter type to this closure allows PHP Storm to give us good completion on it inside the function. Once we've finished writing the factory as a closure, you'll notice there's a red squiggly line next to the closing bracket. This is PHP Storm's inspections telling us there's a problem with our code before we've even run it. We've forgotten a semicolon. We're passing some dependencies into the action, but we're not expecting them in the constructor. We should probably fix that. We can command and click on any symbol, including classes, to jump straight to their definition. We're about to start coding. So let's make as much room as possible by hiding all the open windows using Command Shift and F12. Keyword completion allows us to quickly add the protected keyword. Just type Pro and then hit Tab. This works with public and private keywords too. We can generate the code needed in the constructor using the Generate menu, Command N. PHP Storm will create the constructor with the correct parameters. No more writing boilerplate. Ah, we forgot to indent the properties. PHP Storm can fix that for us with reformat code. Let's add the type hints to the constructor. We can use the intention to import the class if we haven't done it manually. For this action to be able to dispatch requests, it needs an invoke magic method. We can create it quickly by starting to type the method name. Completion takes care of the rest. Let's just make this action return a simple JSON string. We want to be able to test this, so let's create a PHP unit test. We can do that easily using the navigate to test, which prompts us to create a new test if one doesn't exist. We only need to provide the correct namespace for the test to be created in the right place. Let's extend the right class and create the test. Completion has made me notice we don't have PHP unit installed, but we don't need to leave PHP Storm to get to a terminal. We can use Control Tab and then T to open the terminal, and then it's just a case of adding the dependency using Composer. Now we can get on with running our test. We're just checking that the response has a status code of 200 and a JSON string containing OK. But how do we run the test? Well, it's easy in PHP Storm. We can right click anywhere and just select Run from the context menu. Our test here has failed. We can click on the link to see exactly where it's failed. Let's set a breakpoint and use debugging to find out exactly what's going on. We can step over, into, and out of methods until we find our problem. I've noticed there's a typo in the word fight. Let's fix that. When we rerun our tests now, everything's green. All tests have passed. I've updated the action so it returns some more information about our monster. But how do we test this? We can use search for action to open the test RESTful web service, which is a fully fledged HTTP client right within your IDE. We can also format our output nicely. This doesn't look great. Let's refactor it by moving the array into its own method. We can select the whole array with extend selection and then use the refactor menu and extract a method to quickly add a method here. Let's call it get vampire. PHP Storms extracted the method including adding the return type hint of array. The return type hints in PHP 7 are really useful, as we'll get an error in our code if we don't return an array without even running our code. I really don't like the name of that method, as we may return other monster types, so let's rename it using a rename refactor. You'll notice how, once we've renamed it, PHP Storm gives us a preview, and when we do the refactor, it changes the method name wherever it's used. What if we want to tweak the monster data before returning the JSON? We can extract this method call into a variable and then use live templates to quickly create a for each loop 
so we can process this before returning it. At some point we'll probably want to store this in a database and that's okay because PHPStorm has a database browser built in. We can use Control and Tab and then D to open it and then Browse, Create and Update Entities. It also contains a database terminal and once you've configured your database, you get code completion on SQL statements. We should definitely commit this to our version control and that's built in too. The VCS panel shows uncommitted changes and we can commit and push the changes without leaving our IDE. PHPStorm has checked our code for problems and warned us that there are some unresolved issues. We'll want to review these before we commit. Here, let's just commit and push anyway. While we can't show you everything, it is worth mentioning the world-class HTML, CSS and JavaScript support we get from our colleagues at WebStorm. This even works with PHP template files like Twig. Emits give us easy ways to create HTML elements. And of course, we have completion, inspections and intentions on CSS, JavaScript and HTML, just like we would in PHP. Why not give PHPStorm a try? You can download a trial at jetbrains.com slash PHPStorm. Let us know what you think and thanks for watching.